Not to mention, of course, your everyday neutral, like nudes, whites, and even navies, which is a great alternative to black. Now let's check out what we're seeing on the fashion runways. I absolutely love this first model's nude sunglasses. What a great alternative to a white or even a brown. Love nude. And pink. Now this is quite a dramatic pink, but what woman doesn't love a little bit of pink in their life? Pink is going to be huge for spring summer, especially during festival season. And how about this green hue? I love green because it's kind of an in-between a neutral and a bright. If someone wants to have fun with a little bit of color without going over the top, green is a great way to go. And if women want to have even more fun with color, bright orangey yellow, baby blues, and aqua blues are all the rage for spring and summer. Now when it comes to men, it's no surprise that they don't want to play with color as much as women do. But that doesn't mean they can't step out of the box. I love the tortoise hue on both of these guys' frames. It's a nice switch up to your traditional tortoise with its lighter undertones and dark black specks. And again, there's that green tone, a great alternative to something that's super bright, but it's not in your face. If men really want to make a statement, which I absolutely love when a guy does, bright yellow and bright red are the way to go. But if they want to keep things understated, a soft gray tone with blue undertones is an excellent option. In terms of shapes, rounds are huge. You're going to see the round silhouette pop up again and again in this presentation. And in all different sizes. We have oversized rounds, medium-sized rounds, and then smaller, more retro John Lennon-inspired rounds. Plus, cat eyes. Every woman should have a cat eye frame in their wardrobe for spring and summer. Plus, oversized silhouettes with a drop temple, not to mention futuristic inspired slim profiles. And again, there's that tried and true round that we all love. For men, rounds as well. Like I said, it's all about the round. Plus, oversized square sporty silhouettes, not to mention everyday rectangle Wayfair inspired silhouette. Here we are with the rounds again, plus a sporty wraparound silhouette and a really in your face oversized bold frame. When it comes to details, I love translucence. Now this model is wearing a totally clear frame, but it doesn't have to be totally clear. You can still have fun with that see-through effect, even with other colors. It's a great way to have fun with color, too, if someone doesn't want a totally solid frame. Now, how about these crazy embellishments on this model's sunglass? Now, this is a little over the top for your everyday individual, but it's a great way to show how much fun women can have with embellishment. You can have studs or gemstones along the temples or even on the frame fronts. Sparkle additions, patterns, the list goes on. I also love the juxtaposition between acetate and metal. It's a great look for spring summer. Here are those studs again, major bold embellishments. Again, this is a little over the top for the everyday consumer, but that doesn't mean that the everyday woman can't have fun with studs. It's probably hard to see on my frames, but I have some little stud detailing too. This just has a little badass attitude to a pair of frames that I just love. Now, what about patterns? I love this model's stripe pattern on her frame. But it doesn't just stop there. From stripes, to polka dots, to plaid, to houndstooth, 
There are so many patterns that women can play with when it comes to their frames. And there's that tried and true keyhole bridge. The keyhole bridge has been trending from season to season for years, and it's back again. When it comes to men's detailing, it's all about a bold metal accent on the temple and some funky brow lines. If they want to have a lot of fun, they can also play with an acetate frame that's been dipped in a metallic color for some extra punch. And again, there is that double bridge that we keep seeing time and time again on a round shaped frame. When it comes to lenses, it's all about tints for spring and summer. Tinted yellows, tinted blues, tinted pinks, again, tinted oranges, purples, the list goes on, plus the flashy lens that we've been seeing from season to season is back. In terms of men's lenses, the same goes. We're seeing tinted lenses in bright colors, plus flashy lenses in equally bright colors. So if a guy wants to have fun with color, not in his frames, he can do it in his lenses. And it is amazing. Now it's hard for me being an East Coaster, living up in DC where it's freezing cold, to already be thinking about fall, winter. But alas, the fashion season is already predicting well in advance for fall, winter 2018 and we've curated the top four trends that we think are gonna be on tap for not next season, but the season after. Our first trend is the moody musings trend. This is where rebellious styling meets the everyday. For women, it's all about a dark palette. Grays, blacks, metallics, with minimal detailing. But for men, it's a little bit more about those industrial-inspired accents, of course, with a very similar palette that the women saw. But bold brow bars, lots of metal additions, and reflective lenses. Our second trend is our down-to-earth trend. And just as the name entails, this trend takes note from the great outdoors. So for women, we see colors that are reminiscent of natural elements like corals and sky blues, plus textured effects, very organic shapes, and even animalistic patterns plus floral patterns as well. For men, it's no surprise that we're seeing a little bit of a softer neutral palette when it comes to the down to earth trend but we're also seeing some really cool marbleized like finishes and even the incorporation of natural elements like faux and true wood. Next up is our studious and sultry trend. This is taking geek chic to a whole new level, transforming categorically everyday silhouettes into statement pieces that work in the workplace and beyond. So for women, we're seeing everyday silhouettes, like easygoing rectangles, squares, cat eyes, and rounds, but with some fun additions, like sparkly brow bars, oversized profiles, and some really cool added brow line emphasis. Now for men, the studious and sultry trend is all about the shape. We're seeing lots of old school retro silhouettes like that tried and true aviator, that perfect round, and some funky squares taking center stage. And our last trend is the global perspective trend. And to say that anything goes with this trend is an understatement. Anything goes. This trend takes note from all eras and all nationalities. So for women, we're seeing bold butterfly silhouettes, the cat eye made crazy, slim futuristic profiles, aviators meet shields, lots of crazy cool embellishments 
and all the color you could ever ask for. And for men, the same thing rolls. Lots of tinted lenses and bold colors like blues, oranges, yellows, and purples, not to mention really funky, cool silhouettes like chunky ovals, revamped aviators, and crazy cool shields. I just love what's on tap for the upcoming season. 